absolutely. So like I was mentioning, um, when you are extremely stressed, the two axes interact with each other on a biological level. So when you, for example, have that, when you are very stressed, it increases that gut epithelium, that gut tissue barrier, and allows more antigens, more bacteria to pass through. So by doing that, that triggers your immune response, which is tied to those hormone cascades, those neurological responses that are responsible for responding to bacteria and responding to potential infections and sickness and illness. So we also have to keep in mind that stress is not just a mental or an abstract thing, it's also a physical thing. Like illness is a physical form of stress itself. So the, the two interact with each other. When you are um, stressed, it increases the permeability leading to more stress. And also in the other risk direction, stress reduces your immune factors. It reduces your ability to respond to disease and inflammation. So it's a, it's a vicious cycle when you don't manage one or the other, or preferably both. So they, yes, they are very deeply interconnected though. 